Do samples go bad? Hey everyone, David here again with Fragrance Bros, your best source for everything fragrance related. Today we're doing a video of my basic series where we ask and answer all the basic questions about fragrance and cologne. Today we're asking and answering the question, do samples go bad? This is actually a user submitted question that I got a while back. And so thank you for asking the question. If you have any questions that you'd like me to answer, uh, just email me or you can actually ask them in the comments too and I'll answer those. So this is a great question. It's usually a question from someone who really has a lot of samples. Will they go bad? And um, I mean, I guess theoretically they will, um, they could, um, but I've never had any go bad. Now I've done another video about where to store your fragrances. It's a great video. I think everyone who's into fragrances should watch it. It's up here. But in that I talk about the biggest killers of fragrances are light, heat, and oxygen. And there's not much you can do about oxygen, but light and heat you can stay away from. And with samples, what I usually do is store them in a similar way that I do my uh, big bottles. And I just store them in a cupboard that doesn't get a lot of light or any light and doesn't get much or any heat. Decants are a little bit different. Decants are usually something that you buy on a split. Maybe they're a little bit larger size. And um, those you have to think you have to be a little bit more careful about because you usually tend to keep those longer than samples. The biggest thing that I can say with samples is that there's not much benefit to saving samples to the average person, I don't, I don't think. As a reviewer, I keep samples really just for reference. I don't keep them so I can try them over time for the rest of my life. I think it's far better just to use the fragrance right away and see if you like it or not and just use all the sample if you can. Saving a sample in the long term is just not really beneficial, I think, to most people. One of the things that you'll encounter is that whenever you store a fragrance, there's kind of an exponential curve on how much oxygen will affect a fragrance over time. Because the more you use a fragrance, the more oxygen is being pumped in that bottle, and therefore more oxygen is actually touching the liquid inside. So if you have a sample with just a little bit of juice left in there that's unused, it's gonna have a higher ratio of oxygen to liquid in there. Therefore, the oxygen content is gonna be affecting the liquid maybe more than uh, the oxygen would in proportion to the liquid in a bottle because you'll have more liquid in a bottle typically. So I say, just use the fragrance as fast as you can. <laughs> Thanks for watching this video. I'd like to thank my sponsor, Fragrance X, for sponsoring this video. Fragrance X is an online reseller that sells thousands of legitimate products for a discounted price. I've bought from Fragrance X, I love Fragrance X, and I can recommend them to you. I'll have a link down below to them as well as a coupon where you can get some money off. They also sell samples as well as minis on there, so if you're looking for any samples and stuff, definitely check out Fragrance X. Thanks again for watching this video on my basic series. If you have any questions, again, uh, just ask them down below or email me. I'll get to them as soon as I can. I'll see you next time. I'm David with the Fragrance Bros. Bye. Thanks everyone for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to check out my other channel, Beast May Reviews, where me and a friend review high quality products for men. You might like it. Go check it out.